going to just focus on the basics again, guys. So, um, I thought I'd from the other side. So, I'm going to set up my triangle again. Make sure if your students get your hands under, you lift first, and then as I drop, it gives me the space. Okay? Hands come to the triceps, and straight away, I shrimp out onto my side, get to the side guard position. It's really important that I get the foot onto the hip. Okay? If I end up here, it's so easy for him to square back up again. Okay, and then just gets his hands back onto my chest again. So I'm here, and look, if I hold the bicep here, before I get the foot to the hip, he might try and square me back up again. But look, this stops him now. Okay, eventually I get my foot to the hip. Here, I'm all the way on my side. Okay, I expect him to try and push in there. Okay, so I can stand the hand here. Okay, slide, sorry, stand the bicep, slide down to the wrist. And then from here, bring my foot through by the elbow. Nice and high, lock it up, hand straight to the head as always, okay? Um, if you already get to your feet being crossed, hands stay on the head, grab the shin, make the adjustments. Remember, when you're making the adjustments, the foot doesn't go to the floor, okay? it doesn't need to. There's too much space here, it pulls his arm out, okay? So when I make my adjustments, I'm having my ankles crossed here, here to the hip, okay? So he, he should feel like my guard's still closed. Okay, so I angle off, lock it up, I'm not bothered about the arm, okay? I squeeze my legs, pull the head down, and just keep holding it to get the finish. So I finish it like a guillotine, okay? Mm -hmm. so I hold it on for say like, I don't know, 50%, 60%, 70%. I don't want to blow my legs out straight away. So I go from this angle now. Here, okay? I make sure I stay on the side, it's the most important thing. Foot comes through at the elbow. Swim back underneath, lock it up as much as I can. If I get to here, both hands to the head, and I make small adjustments. If I feel him pulling his arm back here, I'm not going to open my gut. Okay? Or if there's a load of pressure that he keeps pulling it back, I do it bit by bit. Here. Yeah, no massive movements. I don't need to rush anything. If I keep getting my angle here, once that slots on the neck, that's the angle I want. He's done that. Okay? Because I can push the shoulder into the neck in this direction. So when I go for my finish now, even without pulling the head down, look. That's it. Yeah, just cutting off the carotid arteries again. So I'm here. Squeeze that way. Don't squeeze like down. Yeah, loads of people do this, it's not the right pressure. So you're squeezing down and pulling his head into your stomach, but it's not doing anything. Okay? So when I've got it locked up here, the more the angle I can get, the better. So I can come underneath the leg. Look, so you can't even see his neck anymore. Okay, that's where I want to squeeze from. Okay, you right? <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, let's go with that. So overhook triangle.